Hello everyone and welcome back to the kingdom where we actually have the youngest commander yet at only 11 moons old. Lily has been become the commander. Bloodthirsty and confident with words. She follows in her mom's footsteps. <laughs> Not with the bloodthirsty part but for sure with the commander part. So Elder Rosemary actually sat all night at Commander Phoenix's vigil, which is quite interesting. So Rosemary kind of has a pretty high knight lineage, it seems. And poor little Lily broke her bone the first time she became a... Uh, like, as soon as she got six moons, she broke her bone, not even... didn't even get the chance to go for one patrol. And immediately when she got healed from that, although she does carry a scar, she got damaged eyes. So she has literally never been on a patrol and she's a commander at 11 moons. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, with that being said, we should actually get rolling with the... Um, uh, with the patrols. Of course, Songbird now no longer has a mate, despite her not really loving her mate. They were planning on having kittens eventually, so that's not gonna happen. I don't know if anyone else... Sir Wolf and Such already have mates, unfortunately. Although, of course, Songbird could just force Wolf to have mates. Or be mates, uh, considering she's the queen. That's not very nice, but she does think a lot about her. I think we're just gonna break it up because they, they were never really make mates, anyways. I think she is gonna actually tell Sir Wolf to now be her sort of kitten helper. <laughs> Cough. Um, but again, it's nothing actually romantic or. Winter just doesn't really care. They're always arguing anyways. Uh, I think we are actually going to break it up between these two. And Winter actually hates Flame. So it is very, very possible that he hates Songbird now too. I am actually going to sabotage these two. Man, Songbird really hates Winter, it looks like. Whoa, okay. I wonder if that's why she also kind of took Sir Wolf, because she hates how, how he treats her. Or him. Hmm. Interesting. Do you actually like Sir Wolf? You do kind of like Sir Wolf. Does he actually like you? Uh, not really. He likes Glory more. And Prince Flea. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, a bit weird that you like her child a bit more than than your mate there, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so these two are gonna proceed. Thank goodness they are fine. Flame and Songbird are gonna go training. And I'm sure that Wolf and Songbird do like each other, but I also think that the whole mate thing is really more because Songbird wants kittens, and that's about it. Anywho, Glory and Milkweed are gonna go out training i suppose well not training i i just read the training part they weren't actually supposed to have a an assigned patrol whoops anywho we don't have a deputy that's because our deputy is too young to be a deputy <laughs> no <laughs> why game why game why would you do this to me oh okay so winter went for a long walk deep in thought hmm I, winter did you seriously now the game doesn't actually say that he did anything but prince flame and peach were killed by a gang of rogues and winter is just out taking a walk I swear, Winter, if you somehow got these rogues to do your bidding and kill Flame, I am so mad at you. And now we don't have a damn heir. <laughs> Why? Uh, but Rosemary is now expecting kittens again. Is this just a, gonna become... Oh my God. Okay, 
but it's fine. It's fine. Now we just also need Songbird to expect kittens. And then boom, we're fine. Milkweed found a loner named Brush who decided to join the clan. The rogue decides to keep their old name. That's fine, but we're gonna change it. Uh, and Lily has now become a commander. I, uh, okay. Well, we no longer have an heir. I cannot believe this. Lily, you are actually the deputy, so there you go. And Brush is a 70, 70. What? Do we only have old cats? Oh my gosh. We only have old cats. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna accept for Milkweed, of course. So, Brush, we will actually change your name. You are a male who is insecure, good at hunting, and a lore keeper. Okay, Brush, let's let's find you an, uh, a recommended name instead, yeah? Okay, um... Ooh! This is actually a name I had for one of, uh, one of my OCs one time. Siskin. It's a little bird, and it's so cute, and I love it. <laughs> so that's Siskin now. Songbird? Mm, yeah. I don't really know what you're gonna do. Uh, I don't know. Gosh darn it, man. I'm, I'm so distraught. I can't believe Flame died. Well, I can kind of believe it. I was kind of expecting it, but I was hoping he wouldn't. Okay. Oh, gosh. And the kingdom doesn't have enough prey for next moon? What? Winter got his paw stuck in a two-leg trap, and while he eventually escaped, his leg is heavily injured. Elder Rosemary hopes that her litter will be smalled. She feels overwhelmed at a big litter. I guess she wasn't planning on getting a litter. you guys we don't have enough food how did all the food disappear <laughs> how did that happen no okay hold on clearing we need to ration play play <laughs> ration prey healthy warriors will only eat half the food they need even if the there's enough for the clan okay yeah we need we need to ration here um Okay. Rosemary and Soot were so busy worrying about looking forward to the birth that uh it's only now that they look at their single kitten and wonder what to name them. And Commander Lily will always feel grief, but time has softened it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this little kitten is so cute. I cannot believe it. She's a little bossy kitten. I love her. Let's see what kind of names we have now. Um. Well, Rosemary, do you like... Yeah, she... No. Okay, wait, hold on. Songbird, yes. She really likes Songbird. I think I might... Glory, she really likes Glory as well. I think I might um, name her Song. Some of you have suggested that. And that would kind of be in... In honor of Songbird, of course. So, I think... I think Song is, is pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that's a good name. In honor of the royal queen and Flame, who unfortunately died now. Speaking of Songbird, your mate is Sir Wolf. Sir Wolf, can you can you two, you know, have a kitten? <laughs> that would be very appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we really need food. Like, really, really need food. Okay, that's a large amount of prey. That's good. This skin suit. We're not allowed to choose what these guys do. 
Oh my gosh, and now we got another sick cat. This one has white cough. That's okay. It's a male who's compassionate and an excellent teacher. Um, okay, well, you also need a name, of course. Oops. Let's see. Mm, we do actually have... Well, he was a former... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Some of you guys actually wanted me to call him George. Well, not this guy specifically, but George is uh, recommended. So here we have George. <laughs> or is it Gorge? Hold on. It's Gorge. It's probably the Gorge. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, Milkweed. You, you, please, no, okay. 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 We have just enough. That's fine. That's fine. A non-binary who is lonesome and a renowned hunter. Interesting. Uh, I would just like to see their their um biological gender okay their biological gender is female and their pronouns and uh gender is non-binary okay so i Ooh. micah micah's good yeah I, honestly micah is pretty cute i i like the name micah so this is micah they are very, very beautiful, and they have two little kittens, a skittish, careful listener female, and a know-it-all, oddly observant female. Okay, okay, well, we're getting- I mean, it's a kingdom now, at the very least. We're getting new blood all over the place, except we don't have- <laughs> uh, Whoops, that's not right. We don't have- um any food to feed them with. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna name them Tawny and Time. There we go. Tawny and Time. That's pretty cute. I really like them. They're very cute. <laughs> and little Song is still- oh my gosh, nothing- we- she's still zero moons old. Oh gosh, okay. Time to do another uh, moon skips. Hopefully no one dies. Flicker searches through the herb stores. Gorgeous. Uh, white cough has progressed to green cough, greatly worrying them. I, I mean, that's not great. And Sir Wolf is slowly starting to become okay. Well, Songbird, go hunting. Please catch them. She did, but not a lot. Mega Siskin hunting? Yes! No! <laughs> Milkweed, Glory, please. Oh my gosh. We don't have any food, you guys, and I can't- Yes! So thank you! I can't choose- Oh my- Okay, there's a lot happening. <laughs> I can't choose what patrols they go on. That's part of the challenge, unfortunately. No! The kittens and queen are dead. Oh, I was so excited to get even more kittens. Oh, well. Winter's leg has healed and Gorge no longer has white cough. Uh, time carefully touches nose with their new mentor. Okay, and Tony has also reached the age of six moons. Well, you two, your mentor is... Uh, your... Oh. Yeah. Your mother. And your parent, I, is, I suppose. There we go. Uh, and oh! beautiful you are and she's a little picky nest builder and she's running around clamp a clamp <laughs> like she owns the place no not milkweed 
uh, time as well. There we go. Okay. They found a deathberry bush, apparently. Gorge and Siskin. Oh, a large amount of prey. Goodness. Yes, please, more prey. <laughs> oh gosh, no, I, I accidentally cheated on that one. Whoops. I put them on a hunting patrol, but I did not actually make them. Oh, glory. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. They have brains. They went to hunt. Thank you. Thank you, the entire kingdom. Oh. Okay, Ro no, okay. Rosemary has, um, has healed from the strain of birthing their litter. And Commander Lily has somehow recovered from her injury on her eyes. Well, that's really good. And without any scars or anything, that's pretty good. And here we have her, Commander Lily. 17 moons old before she even does anything. Uh, and she's bloodthirsty and an eloquent speaker. And she's giving advice to Song. Hmm. Interesting. And how is her... Right, her sister is no longer here, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, you three go out and hunt, apparently. Soot, Gorge... A kitty pet has joined. Oh, it's Red Cough again. No. Okay, a male who's charismatic, a great teacher, and a good climber. Once again, I apologize to whoever, <laughs> whoever's name I'm picking here. But we have so many names, I kind of just have to <laughs> choose. Um, he's a kitty pet, yeah. Great teacher, charismatic. I do kind of like the name uh, Droplet. So thank you to whoever suggested the name Droplet. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna last very long, but it's a very cute name and I really like it. So Milkweed and Glory, you two are gonna go out. So far we haven't had too much death. Um, I mean, we have had some, but like none of the old characters, like Glory is somehow still alive. I don't know how. Uh, we're gonna not proceed on that one. Songbird, you're gonna go hunting. Siskin. Oh, thank goodness, Siskin, you brought back a bunch of prey. Ooh. Flicker? is interested in star plan you guys okay well that's an interesting one hold on let me just uh, write that in my notes she's going to star clan it seems let's see how her ancestors are doing lotus is eagerly listening to gossip surrounding another clan and yeah, okay, so King Ghost accidentally found himself in Flicker's dreams the other night. So King Ghost seems to be talking to Flicker. That's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Anywho, let us... Yeah, okay, we are done with patrols. Commander Lily was touching noses with someone from M the Empire. <laughs> Scandalous. Oh gosh. Lily, are you... With someone in the com uh, in the empire instead. Me oh my. Okay, well, finally we're getting a lot of uh, peasants who hopefully don't die now. I would love them for them not to die. Uh, I would love for them to die as little as possible, actually. Uh, while also, of course, becoming. Nights by getting scars. So it's kind of a, a balance here. We do want them to get injured, but then survive those injuries. <laughs> oh, Siskin found a cat on the side of the road. How are they doing? Lola, a male. He has a broken back. He's responsible, a cat keeper, and a great storyteller. Okay, well... I've seen them survive broken backs a couple times before, so we do actually have a quite a good chance here. I am 
looking for a name right now. Mm, what color eyes does he have? Heather blue. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so cute okay you guys i have a name for him it's gonna be snail he's little snail he's so cute <laughs> he's so cute and he's getting used to his no new home so that's good time seems to be hanging out with the queen right now and like we it's songbird is old like i really want her to have some kittens because this is getting a bit ridiculous Okay, Soot has decided to become an elder. Interesting. Tawny believes that they're meant for something greater. Soot has also gotten green cough and went missing for a few days. Tawny, you believe you're meant for something greater, eh? I wonder if she wants to be the eventual mate of whatever um, heir comes eventually. Not having an heir at 146 moons old is, is quite horrible. Uh, Songbird is dreading a clan meeting she has to do later. I wonder if that's about her heirs. <laughs> she has to go talk to Wolf or something. Gorge, you can go... Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Such you are allowed to retire, yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay, good. Uh, well, then I will name you Elder Soot now. There we go. He is now an elder together with his mate. Lovely. Uh, so they actually survived quite a, li a while. Time, Micah, and Tawny are gonna go out and apparently meet Empire Clan. Commander Lily, you're gonna go hunting because apparently food goes away real fast here. Songbird, are you gonna go out? I guess you could. You can go hunting as well. A large amount of prey, goodness. Gorge, glory. Uh, yeah, you two are out doing stuff. We gathered some cobwebs. Oops, okay, well, and we did not proceed as flicker. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. Okay. Please, Songbird, can you can you give me some some kittens here? I I would love for some kittens. Oh, Droplet died of red cough. That's not right. He died of his broken back, I assume. Soot has recovered from green cough. Song can't seem to sit still as they bounce and touch noses with glory. Um, Song, you don't have any. Oh no, Song. <laughs> That's so sad! Her parents just kind of abandoned her. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Song, do you have any other family members? You don't... <laughs> no, you have Commander Lee! You have a sister! You have a sister! Okay, they, they left you in charge... Uh, well, your sister in charge of you. Okay. Right, okay. So Lily and Song are gonna go out. I guess that's why Soot might have retired, actually. Just so that Song could have a, uh, a sister, or like a commander to, to take care of her. Because Lily can decide not to go places, and she can decide what they do. Uh, they spot... yeah, that rabbit will we'll avoid it. We have enough food right now. Uh, but so maybe that was what they were kind of thinking, uh, Soot and Rosemary. So that their kitten could survive better. Or will have a higher chance of survival. Glory, milkweed, we found a kitty pet, a songbird, you can go hunting as well for now. Oh, she got frostbite, okay. That's not great. I, I think I might refrain from sending her out in the future now. <laughs> I hope she doesn't die from the frostbite, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, and we have a white cough, little Isabel. She's nervous and has a dark forest bond. Ooh, well, that's not too uncommon here <laughs> in this kingdom. Well, a bond may might be a little bit uncommon, but not too uncommon to have a... Uh, uh, a name, or be in the dark forest. Okay. Um... Uh, 
could make her sky, honestly. Someone suggested that, and a, uh, that's more of a name rather than the actual sky, considering how it's spelled, but she's a kitty pet, so it would make sense that she got a name like that. So there we go. How do you look when you're healthy? Very pretty. Very, very pretty sky. Okay. Whew. The kingdom is finally growing! I hope we keep going like this and don't, like, run into a disaster or something. Okay, not enough medicine cats. We have one who has white cough. Rosemary finds a kitty pet named Coriander who joins the clan. The kitty pet decides to take on a more clan-like name. Okay, so we have him. Oh my gosh! Goodness! Fierce and a great speaker. Well, I think I have just the name for you, if I can just uh, find it. I think... Oh, there was there um there was definitely a name I was thinking about. There it is. Uh Cardinal, actually. And the person who suggested this name wanted it to be a red cat, and I don't think you get much more red than this. <laughs> Literally her color is even red. So here we have Cardinal. She's lovely and I like her and Yeah, she's she's absolutely beautiful <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was thinking maybe we with all these cats should get some more mates uh, And once again, I will actually turn on biological kittens because that uh, is just unfortunately how it is right now <laughs> Uh, Commander... I I did actually have on the adoptive kittens in Viper Clan, but the cats ended up getting kittens from nowhere over and over and over again. <laughs> because all our, all our um, pairings in Viper Clan were uh, same, same gender <laughs> couples, so they just ended up adopting cats all over the place and we had to do a whole kitten mill arc and such so for now i'm just keeping with unfortunately having it um be only biological uh only have biological kittens available of course if anyone decides to get together with anyone i'm not gonna stop them but for now i do want kittens and i don't particularly like having the uh, same gender couple can have kittens, like biological kittens, because that just unfortunately doesn't make any sense in the wild like this where they don't have doctors or hospitals that can help with that. Anywho, uh, Gorge and Glory actually are pretty compatible, so let's have these two get together before anything horrible happens to Glory. <laughs> Sky and Snail are also compatible, as well as Healer Flicker. Uh, are they too... Are they too far apart? I feel like they might be a bit too far apart. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Sis uh, or Snail for now. Although Siskin and Cardinal are good together, and they're both named after birds, so that's adorable. Gorge, you have a mate now and so do you sky you don't really have anyone right now milkweed yeah at this point we're just repeating it seems okay but there we go so we do have some new mates in the kingdom here lovely and speaking of tawny and time are gonna go out with micah and they're gonna go on a random patrol, of course. And Song and Commander Lily are gonna go out hunting. <laughs> and they do just fine. Okay, now for the rest of the kitties. So, Milkweed and Siskin are gonna go out. Glory and Cardinal. And Gorge on his own. As well as Flicker on her own. There we 
we go. Okay, lots of new cats, lots of new mates. I am very happy. Very happy, Kiwi. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. No! Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, Songbird got a scar, and she was also bitten by a venomous snake and lost a life, thus going to the... Um, thus going to the Dark Forest, aka, well, we're, we're sending her to Starkland. Commander Lily has become the new leader, I'm not so sure about that, but they stare down at their clanmates with unsheathed claws, promising a new era for the kingdom. Um, interesting. Winter and Wolf are very proud to announce their status as mates. It's quite cute. Okay, well, they're mates again, apparently. I'm sorry for breaking you two up. I thought you hated each other, but, but clearly I was wrong. Flicker and Lily have gotten green cough. Siskin for, uh, found a mysterious flower in the forest. Uh, Lily declares a meeting to honor time and, uh, hello, Tawny, as of age now. Wonderful. And Songbird is, of course, dead. <laughs> and Lily, hold your horses. Go down to being a deputy for now. We're, we're gonna have to figure out this whole... <laughs> This whole kerfuffle. Okay. Show the dead cats. Show the dark forest. Songbird, you are actually the only royal who became an elder. But we will uh, guide you to Starkland because that's where you belong. And she's relieved to be in Starkland once again. Well, of course you are. <coughs> Flare is actually in the dark forest. Should he be in the dark forest? He was a good cat, but I don't think he actually believed in Star Clan. Well, maybe he did actually. You know what? He might have. Let's um, let's send Flare to the Dark Forest or Flame to the Dark Forest as well. Or <laughs> Star Clan. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, wherever he is, he there he is. There we go. Uh, Star Clan. Okay. So family tree. You don't have any kittens. Uh, mates you do have, but that doesn't count. Siblings... Glory is actually... Oh, they're not blood-related, though. Uh, which means you only have... Well, cats think, obviously, that they are blood-related, however. So we might actually have a Queen Glory. Hmm... Glory and Winter are the only two who are alive of her siblings. Does she have any parents alive? Nope. Okay, you know what? Just because I literally, like, yesterday finished reading the second arc of Wings of Fire, which, by the way, was awesome. Love Darkstalker. He's cool. Love Kibli. He's awesome for anyone who have watched it. And I love Moon, and I love basically all of them. <laughs> that was an awesome arc. Really, really impressed. Anywho, we will actually make her the leader. And for those of you who... I mean, she was named after Glory, of course, but I didn't think we would get a Queen Glory. And that actually means that she is now a, um, a royal, because they were sisters. And we will actually look at her family tree, and does she have any living kids? She does have Flicker, who's unfortunately a healer. Um, but yeah, otherwise she would have had an heir already. But there we go, we have a uh, Queen Glory here. Awesome! <laughs> and her mage Go uh, mate Gorge is actually going to be King Gorge. Although he is of course not going to be a... Uh, 
a royal king. Because he's not in the royal family, he's just mates with the royal. Or, well, the queen. Um, and there was something else right dangerous, we need to kill her. Um, oh, right. I apologize, I got rid of her sickness, it seems. I don't know how sick she was, I think she was just grieving. But we do have to kill her all the way down to just one life left. Because, of course, they don't believe in Star Clan, and that is just how it is. She is, however, a ghost speaker, so maybe she can talk to uh, Songbird, actually. That would be pretty cool. So Songbird chooses her and, like, whispers in her ear. I guess she would be... She would go to Star Clan too, then, huh? I guess so. So, both her daughter and her, aka the sister of Songbird, are actually gonna go to Starkland whenever they die. And Glory just kinda talks to, um... Hold on. Um... I am gonna add that in my notes. So, Glory... Here's the whispers of her sis sister, former royal queen, Songbird. Okay, that's very interesting. I'm not too upset about this one because they were sisters, technically not, but you know, that's what um, one of the commanders, or not commanders, one of the royal advisors did. And our kingdom is actually growing. We have a lot of new cats who aren't related to each other, and I am so happy for it. But with that being said, let us keep going on the last little new leaf here. Our new moon. Gorge was seen touching noses with a loner. Sky has gotten a running nose, and we refuse to give herbs to Fire Clan. Okay, you guys, that was a lot happening once again at the end of the year. Just boom, right there. <laughs> so we do have a new royal lineage, but not really, because they were, to be fair, related. I'm gonna count that as not a new lineage. It's just a... exchange of power, I suppose? I'm gonna say that Glory is still carrying the same royal blood that um because like as long as they're in the family tree uh if one of them dies as long as they're in the family tree uh first of all kids second of all siblings which is what uh glory of course was uh and then of course come parents but i don't think we're gonna have any parents well that depends on if they're royal of, of course but yeah, kids and siblings, of course. Any kids of a royal, really? Which, of course, Sir Jet and Flutter were not, but it is what it is. Point is, Glory was the sister of Royal Songbird, and they're both very old, so I'm gonna totally say that. They are, um... It's the same royal lineage. I mean, they were sisters, so... Anywho, that was a lot of stuff happening, and I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure here with the kingdom. And, uh, well, until next time, you guys. Bye-bye!